I've always been fascinated by motion control in filmmaking and all the creative possibilities it enables. Ever since I was a kid, I've looked up to motion control almost as the holy grail of filmmaking, the ultimate goal. When I one day get access to motion control, the limits will be gone. Today is that day. Motion control was used to create some of my favorite scenes in my favorite movies, like to create forced perspective in The Lord of the Rings, and to create doubles in the time travel scenes of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've been dreaming about this for so long, but the problem that still remains today is that motion control is expensive, really expensive. We're talking almost $100,000 for the cheapest version of the bolt arm, which is currently the most famous high-end motion control system in the world. Recently, you may have seen it in use to create parts of the opening shot of Severn season two. And also, you may have seen those slow motion red carpet shots that have exploded in popularity. There are budget options out there for motion control systems, but usually that means you are limited in one way or another. Most famous budget options are sliders with pan and tilt control, like the Serp Genie 2, which can give you really nice motion control for hyperlapses, product shots, or simple dolly moves. But this system only gives you limited control of three axes, and is still quite a way off the full motion control experience. You also have the Evo, which is a robotic arm for motorized precision, that only costs $10,000 for the base kit. Which sounds good on paper, but the price quickly rises if you want focus, iris or zoom control, mounting options and software. That comes with a minimum one-time fee of $5,000, as well as a yearly subscription for minimum $2,000. So what other options do you have if you want the full motion control experience for a relatively affordable price? Well, not many. Until maybe now. Edelkron has been making motion control products for years, and they have just released their new Dolly Plus, Jib Plus, and Head Plus, which, when put together, make up their Crone X package, which on paper seems to give you the full motion control experience for just $6,000 for the essentials and around $13,000 for the full bundle. And it also comes with free software through their app. So, still not super cheap, but if you're a production company and you're looking for motion control solutions, this actually seems very affordable for what it claims to provide. A quick disclaimer, Edelkron is sponsoring this video and they're sending us the full bundle to test. And we've now had the Crone X package for a couple of weeks, but in that short time span, we've already used it on two separate commercial shoots. One for a local cap company, Lee and Fjell, which I directed, and one for AUK, which is an international smart garden solution that Anders and Morten directed. The big question is, did the Cronex meet my high expectations for motion control? <laughs> so we just got the Crone X package from Edel Crone. This is insanely heavy. Head Plus Pro. This looks very professional. Cool. There's the baddie. My initial impression when setting it up was a little confusing. Mostly because I didn't bother reading the manuals. Whoops. This obviously goes on top of that. Obviously. I'm just doing random stuff. Yeah. Maybe this is the counterweight. Maybe this is the counterweight. Oh wait, what? That makes me even more confused. Ah oh, yeah. Figuring it out. Without a manual. Okay, I need to go check out a manual. But after biting the bullet and actually using the manual, it was quite easy to put together once you know which parts go where. The power module makes it easy to power all the components needed with only one V-mount battery. And if you're using a 155 watt hour battery like we did, it should easily last you an entire day of shooting. Pairing the devices is also easy and convenient. Just turn on all the devices by turning the switch on the power module, then open the app, select the components, click pair and connect, and you're good to go. One feature we used a lot was point tracking. 
This innovative tracking system uses the 3D position of objects in the scene instead of tracking through image processing. This means that it will continue to track objects even if the image is blocked. To set this up, you first need to calibrate the system by leveling the jib and head in line with the dolly so that it can calibrate the position of all the parts. Then, you select the jib length from the markers on the jib so it also knows just how long the jib extends. To finish the calibration, you need to set two points from two different perspectives so we can calibrate the 3D space around it correctly. Oh, oh that's so insanely cool. And if you have the focus zoom module and calibrate the focus as well, it will also keep the point you select in focus at all times, so you don't have to worry about focusing. You can even set up multiple points and switch between them while the body device is in motion. And if you have the rotating turntable, it will still know the position even if you turn the table, which can allow you to do some really creative product shots. So this is obviously a very complex system we're dealing with, but how does it fare in a real life on-set shooting scenario? We were tasked with making a commercial for Lee and Fjell, which translates to hills and mountains. And they make caps for hikers, fishers and people who generally like being outdoors. Our pitch to them was to blend the seams between classic product shots in a white studio and handheld lifestyle shots outdoors on location. We went a bit back and forth on how to blend the two together and eventually landed on that we would use the studio part as a time freeze effect from the outdoor scenes in a way that is reminiscent of the mannequin challenge, if you remember that. So we would freeze a pose and then use the Edlecron rig to make a smooth camera motion around the freezed model. And to really sell the effect, we wanted a mossy forest-like floor in the studio, as if the model was cut out from the forest and placed there. So we decided to go out to a forest nearby and collect rocks, moss, sticks and other debris that we could use to create a forest-like floor. And to make the job easier, we bought a fake layer of grass that we could put underneath so that the white floor wouldn't be visible through the debris where it wasn't fully covered. We then made a shot list that contained all the shots we needed, with notes on what cap would be used when and also what clothes the model would wear. We had three different caps, so we went for three different styles. Hiking, fishing and camping. And when that was all done, we were ready to start shooting. We started off with the studio shoot on the first day, where the Edelkron rig would be used for the most part, together with some handheld shots. This day had few but intricate shots, and our most advanced shot was the opening shot, where the camera would start high above the cap sitting on a pedestal. We then used the tripod X to find a good height where the jib would be able to go as high and low as we needed. Then set up point tracking for the cap and program the jib to go from a top-down view to a frontal view, creating this really cool shot. This setup, the tripod X, jib plus and head plus, is part of what Edelkron call the Cinemaster bundle. We then repeated this move with two other caps to create a classic effect with motion control where we showcase multiple caps in the same position in one camera move. And I think this turned out really cool. And I was actually surprised by how well the footage matched. The Edelkron rig was able to replicate the shot three times quite perfectly. And I'm very impressed by the fact that all the different parts of the rig can talk together this reliably and keep the subject in frame even when the dolly is moving as well. And this adds a really big range to the system. As I said earlier in the video, Anders and Morten used the Chronex system when they directed a video for AUK. We've made cool projects for AUK earlier, and now we're taking it a step further. AUK is a self-watering, award-winning indoor smart garden. They made two videos. One that was b-roll of the product in a fake kitchen that we made in our studio. And the other video was a match cut sequence using blue screen to replace the background with a 3D location in post. We see that the really benefit of this jib and the dolly together is super close-ups, like macro shots. That would be impossible to do with a gimbal. So that's definitely the best use case we see. The final bundle you can get with this system is the Surface Master bundle. This includes the Dolly Plus, Head Plus and Tripod X. 
Using this, you can get really nice and steady point tracking with the camera moving on a dolly. And speaking of the Tripod X, this tripod is really good to have with the system and also in general. Because I want the highest point to be higher. And you know what we do then? We do nothing, because it does it for us. I can't count the number of times I've been on set and needed to raise the tripod with a heavy rig on it. And I always try to do it alone, but end up having to ask for help awkwardly as I'm fighting to hold the rig up, ruining my back in the process. But with the Tripod X, even with a very heavy jib and head plus rig on top of it, it's just one press of a button and it rises to your desired level, which both helps your back and free up time for more important tasks. Another game-changing feature, especially when used outdoors in the woods, was the auto-leveling feature. Again, with just the press of a button, it auto-levels on the uneven surface with the heavy rig on top. And by the way, a feature that I didn't know of at the time of shooting is that you can apparently control the tripod using an Apple Watch, which is a cool little bonus feature. Okay, so now we've gone through the most important features of the system. And before we're going to talk about some of the cons that we've experienced, we need to talk about finalization. What is finalization? In essence, it is to stabilize the footage. And now you're probably thinking, why would I need to stabilize the footage that is taken with a motorized precise motion control system? This is, believe it or not, an important step for basically any motion control system. This is something that, according to Edelkron, most manufacturers do not clearly communicate as a requirement, which can lead to confusion amongst inexperienced users. It's worth noting that some of the shots we got with the Chrome X actually didn't require this step, but that is not something you should expect with these types of rigs. I once had the pleasure of shooting on a Bolt, and I can confirm that this was a required step even on a system of that price range. Okay, so we've talked about the good, but what are some of the drawbacks of this system? One thing is speed. The team at Edelkron told us that this system is designed to provide a flawless flow for real-time actions and is not meant to be used for hectic, high-speed shots. And, to be fair, more often than not, that is exactly what you would need motion control for. This system excels at these type of smooth, slow-moving and elegant shots. But it is worth noting that I for the most part kept the speed at 100%, except for some of the macro shots. Another aspect is software and hardware stability. We did experience the system dropping out a few times. This was mostly annoying when using the point tracking method, which is also the mode we used the most, because the system would need to be recalibrated each time it dropped out. This could be caused by a loss of power for one of the devices, or Bluetooth interference. They do offer a wired signal hub, which could be used for a more stable wired connection, but we haven't had the chance to test it. The Edelkron team also stated that they are working on a fix for rare device resets and will release a new update soon, and that they are developing a software improvement to make the system more robust against Bluetooth interference. Thirdly, the way the Dolly Plus is configured with two motorized wheels and one free wheel makes it so that the Dolly has a tendency to move a little bit if you repeat the same move over and over again. Now, Edelkron states that this is not meant to be a repeatable motion device, but there is a helpful calibration feature where you align a piece of paper to the dolly, and it will move back and forth calibrating the motors based on your inputs, whether it was a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right when it came back to its original position. Sadly, we didn't know about this during our shoot, so we were unable to test exactly how accurate it is, but I'm sure it's gonna help a little bit. An overall con I find is that the system is a bit finicky to use. I think most of that comes down to it needing recalibrating constantly, which takes you out of the flow a bit. It should be said that Edelkron recommends that you get comfortable with the jib and dolly separately first before combining them, which I maybe didn't do. The point tracking is very good overall, but I wish there was a feature to keyframe the frame offset together with key poses, because the point tracking can drift ever so slightly during long movements, but if you use the frame offset feature, you offset the frame equally across all positions. So if it has drifted slightly, you kind of have to choose an awkward middle ground and reframe in post instead, which isn't a huge deal, but it contributes to the slightly finicky aspect I was talking about. Overall, I think the system gets the job done. You forget the cons when you look at the amazing shots you get, and you really can get some amazing results with this, even though it might be a little bit of trial and error to get there. Also, Anders wanted me to let you guys know that the Andiax Film Workshop, which kicks off in one and a half weeks, still has one spot left, 
So to secure that spot, you can go to amdiax.com. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments if you've tried Edlecrone and what your thoughts are, and if you like this little bit of a different format on the Andiax channel. Hallo bra!